looking at the camera. Hey Fit Fam, Wait. we're <laughs> Hey Fit Fam, we are live on the set of Neri's Kitchen. We are at the start of week four of quarantine, which means staying home. I know that when boredom hits, it's just so easy to go grab a snack from the fridge or go to your pantry for some treats. Today, I will show you four meals anyone can make in less than an hour to help you stay on track. Let's get started. All right, so for breakfast, what I normally like to eat is just eggs and sausage, very simple. So I'm, first off, I'm just going to preheat my pan and I'll go grab my eggs. And it's nothing fancy, just two eggs, egg whites. And then I will lightly spray my pan. And let this heat up for just a second. Make sure this is hot first. Jerome, can you pass me a knife, please? <laughs> I will. Here Thank go. you. Okay, so this is hot. And I like to have two eggs for my breakfast. And just half a cup of egg whites. And then I'll let that just steam for a couple of minutes. We got Umesh here. Hi Umesh, thanks for watching me. Steve Husk. Oh, hi Steve Husk. Yeah. <laughs> While the eggs are cooking, I'll just lightly cook my turkey sausage. So once again, I will lightly spray that. Now, you don't have to add the turkey sausage, but I do. I just like to have a very heavy meal in the morning with lots of protein. Some may not, but I just like to feel very full in the morning. It helps keep me energized throughout the day. And um, it's, it's tasty. Who doesn't like eggs and sausage? So I'll just cut that into circles and fry that. And this is um, chicken sausage with feta and spinach. All right, just stir this lightly. Oh, 34. Who else do I have online, RJ? Okay, I'm just going to stir my eggs just very lightly. And then add some seasoning. Some salt. and pepper. Okay, this will, is almost done. Now, I would like to hear what do you guys like for breakfast? For me, I really just like something super simple. And this is just about done. I don't like my eggs too cooked or fully cooked, just lightly cooked. And there we go.
and the turkey sausage was already cooked. I'm just reheating it. Okay, I think this is done. And there you have it. That is breakfast. And you can't forget your Frank's sauce. There you go. And I like to pair breakfast with just a nice piece of fruit. And there you have it, my super simple breakfast. So I'll just put this out over here. Hi, May. Now for lunch, I have a, some water boiling, but for lunch, I also like to have something very simple as well. It's just chicken and veggies. I'll go and grab my chicken. But I'm not really a fan of chicken breast, so I like to buy a lot of these pa um, packages from Superstore. It's just ground chicken. It's very tasty and it's not dry at all, I promise you. I'll get this started right now. In the same pan, let's heat that up with oil. Spray that very lightly. And then we'll get our chicken started. And this is one pound of chicken. Okay, while my chicken is cooking, I'll just leave this here. My water is boiling. I have a pot of boiling water. To that, I will add my sweet potatoes because I really like sweet potatoes. So let's get this started here. So Mary. Yes. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you be? I could be any animal in the world. I would probably be a bird, just because um, I like to venture off and see what others are doing. I feel like I would have a lot of freedom to go anywhere I would like to go. And I can go very high or I can go very low. I just think being a bird would be very cool. <laughs> what, what were you like in high school? In high school, oh, okay, well, I went to Tech Valk High School. Yes, I went to Tech Valk, graduated 2003. I was actually very quiet. I'm not gonna lie, I was very quiet. I stuck to the same group of friends, and um, I don't know, I was, I guess you can call me an introvert. I was really shy, I was very quiet. I was in the business department, and I always stayed on the third floor. I didn't leave, I was always there, and I always worked behind Stinger's store. So Mr. Raffi, if you see me, hi Mr. Raffi. I haven't forgotten my retailing. We got Maria Dusnowski and Merle online. Oh, Merle and Maria. Hi Maria and Merle. Kathy Bodhi. Okay, so my water is boiling. I'm just gonna add my sweet potatoes to this. And I like to actually top a lot of sweet potatoes because I like to do some batch cooking and then have it for another meal after. Okay, chicken is cooking. Hi Shauna, thanks for joining me Shauna. Okay, this is ground chicken. I'm gonna lower the heat very, into medium high heat. 41 people online. Thanks Jerome. You're Again, I don't really season it a lot. It's very simple. All I do is just add seasoning salt. Just a little bit of seasoning salt. Rhonda Hi, Rhonda. Thanks for joining me, Rhonda. 
and I also add garlic pepper. I don't use fresh garlic because honestly, you know, I don't have time to deal with garlic skins and throwing out stuff. It's just, it's too, too time consuming for me. So I like to use my dried garlic powder. Okay, so that is cooking. I also need another pot of water because for my lunch, I love green beans. I love, love, love green beans a lot. And sugar snap peas. So this is what I do typically on a day-to-day -day basis. Another. Hi, Tara. Okay, back to the fridge. I always have my green beans and sugar snap peas on hand. It always goes on sale. Um, at No Frills or Superstore, so I, I always buy these because I can never find green beans. So I always have about four or five bags in my house, no lie. Mary, what's the funniest thing that happened to you recently? The funniest thing that happened to me recently? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I remember laughing really hard at something on Insta. Oh, okay, I remember. It's so stupid. So I was on Instagram and, uh, you know, it was at night, it was like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And I don't really get a chance to go on my phone because my kid always takes my phone. So I, ha I heard about Donald Trump uh, not allowing these face masks to be imported to Canada. And so they were having memes about the presidents of the states, right? Or just very famous people. So there was this one picture of Barack Obama. They called him Obama. The second picture was um, Dalai Lama. And the third picture was Donald Trump. <laughs> but they didn't call him Donald Trump. They called him a ding dong. <laughs> so then you have Obama, Lama, and ding dong. And I just, like, I was laughing so hard. I'm laughing right now. It's actually from Melissa. So thank you, Melissa, for sharing this meme with me. Like, I'm still laughing hard that Donald Trump is called a ding dong. Donald, I'm sorry if you see this. <laughs> okay. All right, so chicken is almost done. I have my sweet potatoes boiling. I'm waiting for my second pot of water to boil. Oh my gosh, my eyes, I'm still laughing over this. Ding dong. <laughs> oh, okay, this is almost done. My stove is really fast. I'll just lower this down. Okay, so my chicken is done now. Just give this a taste. Perfect. <laughs> Get some plates out. While my water is boiling and this is finishing cooking, I'll just share with you a snack that I always make. Um, it helps keep me on track. It'll just be a very simple Greek yogurt. And I always have this on hand as well. I always buy the 0%, but you can always buy the 14% or 5%. Really depends on your preference of fat. So for snack, I like to add half a cup of yogurt, half a cup of Greek yogurt, put this in a bowl. I think someone, one of our members was asking how is, um, what's a good alternative to ice cream? I think her name was Sarah Klassen. This is actually a great alternative to ice cream. And I like to use chocolate protein powder, just because it, Anything chocolate tastes yummy, right? 
And there you have it. I mix this together, and that is my super simple snack full of protein. It's very tasty, and you can also make this in advance. Okay. Oh, I think my water's boiling. Water's boiling. Turn that down. I'll add my green beans. And you can steam your beans too if you like. I like to boil mine. I know it's not the best option, but I think it just tastes the best. And then to that, I like to add sweet peas. I like the balance of the blandness from the green beans and the sweetness of the sweet peas. And that should take a couple of minutes to cook. Hey, Harry. Yes. Did you know? Yes. The average person will spend six months of their life waiting for red lights to turn green. I did not know that. Thank you for sharing that with me, RJ. The, the fact was, did I know that the average person would spend six months waiting at a red light? No, I didn't know that. Did you also know that one bolt of lightning contains enough energy to toast 100,000 slices of bread? No, I did not know that also, RJ. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Random facts that my husband likes to share with me every day. But you know, it's very entertaining, right? <laughs> Okay, so I think this is done. I'm just going to strain my beans. Take this over to the sink. Strain that. And the, this is my carb for my lunch. Now, the sweet potatoes are already sweet, but I like it even sweeter. So this is an option, not all of you have to do this, but I actually like to sprinkle my sweet potatoes with xylitol, it just makes it extra sweet. And xylitol is actually good for you. It's good for your teeth, it helps prevent decay, and it's also more health benefits, I just can't remember right now, but it looks like sugar, it tastes like sugar, but it's not sugar. Okay, put some of this on a plate. Oh. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I'll add my ground chicken. I'll add about maybe a scoop and a half that's about, I guess, five ounces of ground chicken. You can add more or less depending on what your needs are, but I like about five ounces. I think that's enough meat for me. Now. Betty Froze is on. Hi, Betty. Thanks for joining me, Betty. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my green beans to cook, I'm just going to wash this pot. It's all about multitasking while I'm cooking for the family. So I'll just wash this very quickly and then I'll start dinner. And dinner is one of my favorite meals again. It is beef taco salad. We've actually been eating this meal for a few years now. And uh, I don't know, I just really like it. It's very flavorful. It doesn't take very long to cook. And again, it's also very simple and uh, it's very healthy for you. Wash this nicely. Okay. All right, I think my beans are almost done. I don't like to cook it very long because you still want it to be crispy and you want to have that nice green flavor. Yeah, it's good. I'll turn this off. And then we will strain our beans. And 
And there you have it. This is my second meal, and this is what I typically have for lunch. This is about 100 grams of green beans and sweet peas. And this is probably one of my favorite meals that I eat very often. Now let's start dinner. Let's put that out there. Okay, so for dinner, we're having beef taco salad. I'll just preheat my pan again. But I don't have any beef ready, so I always, I always have lean ground beef in the freezer. I'm just going to defrost this very quickly in the microwave. Well, let's turn this off for a second. I think No Frills had a sale on ground beef. It was one package for $4. So I stocked up and bought about four or five packages and that's why I have it in the freezer. I think it was $8, $8 for a package, but I got it for $4. So that's half price, 50% off. And it wasn't bad or anything. It was still very fresh. How about tell our pit fam what's up for things they do daily or that they cook daily? Ask them. Comment below. Fit fam, what are four things that you like to cook daily? Please comment below. I would like to hear from you all. Or take me in a photo too. Joanne Renaud's on. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for joining me. I miss you so much, Joanne. I hope you're doing well at work. Staying safe. And staying safe. I know that you have to unfortunately go to work and not work from home. <laughs> Who else is online, RJ? Uh, and how many do we have? 29. 29, okay. So what kind, of, what kind of grocery shopping tips would you give somebody? Grocery shopping tips? Um, always make sure that you have a list. You right now though, right now. Oh, right now? Yeah. So biggest concern, should people wear gloves when they go to the grocery store? You know what, I wasn't too concerned about wearing gloves before, but I think I do want to wear gloves now. I mean, you touch everything, right? You touch a cart, you touch fruit, you touch a basket, you touch... They don't have baskets anymore, Oh, okay, so they don't have baskets anymore, but you, there's so many different things that you're touching. You're touching money. I, I think I kind of want to wear gloves now, I don't know. And uh, masks. masks. That's the other thing. I wasn't too concerned about getting sick, but my husband and I watched this movie yesterday. I can't remember, what's it called? Contagion. Contagion, we watched Contagion, and it all started off with someone eating um, peanuts at a bar, and then she contracted some sort of contagious disease, and then it spread throughout China and throughout the whole world and spread onto America, and then everyone had it, and she unfortunately died from this disease, and her kid died from this disease. So because of this movie, I'm kind of scared now. I have this fear in my head, so I think I want to start wearing a mask if I need to go out if necessary. But right now I'm at home staying safe. I haven't seen my family yet. So family, if you are watching this, I miss you guys terribly. Okay, so this is some lean ground round that I purchased from No Frills. $4 a package, it was on sale. Uh, regular price was $8. So for me, I like to stock up on food because I do not like to go shopping if I don't have to. Okay. Let's get this started. This won't take very long to cook. While the meat is cooking, I'll grab my salad and my salsa from the fridge. Oh. So, for my salad, I just like to have a nice coleslaw base. I always like to buy plain coleslaw, um, pre-shredded 
cabbage. You can always shred it yourself, but I don't have time for that. Let's get this started. And then to my salad, I like to add some sour cream and then some medium chunky salsa. You can definitely add some corn too, which I have in the fridge, so I'll add that too. That's my baby in the background. <laughs> cooking the ground beef. It was partially frozen. Just heating this up. Yes. Yes. How many calories are in my entire meal for the day? That's a good question, Tara. I don't really measure my food. But I always have a scale on hand. I used to actually measure all of my food religiously, but I kind of have a, great, a good idea of what, what I'm eating. For breakfast, this is two eggs and a half a cup of egg white, so that's about, let's say, less than 300 calories. My sausage was about 150 calories. This meal is, let's see, 70, 70, 140. Yes, this is about 320 actually. For lunch, this is about five ounces of ground chicken, which is about, I don't know, 200 calories. My sweet potatoes, which is about, let's say, 100 calories. And my beans is about 50 to 60 calories. Not very, it's not high in calories. And then for dinner, how many calories? Okay, can you do the math? So this is about 200. Yeah. This is about, um, let's say, 100, 100. And this is about, let's say, 60 calories. So what is that? 350? Okay. And then for dinner, um, I have a coleslaw base. This is probably about 85 to 100 grams of coleslaw. What do you mean, no? That's much. 85 to 100 grams of... Oh, grams. Yeah, yeah grams. Okay, so this is about 85 to 100 grams of coleslaw, so I think it's about 30 calories. And then I will add about two tablespoons of sour cream, which is 70 calories. But you need to make sure that you measure your sour cream. Okay, this is still cooking. Let's leave that there. Okay, and then salsa. I just free pour this, but I mean a quarter cup is 25 calories, so let's add 25. That's nothing? So 135, we'll say 150 max. Sure. Yeah. And then I like to add some corn to mine, so about a quarter cup of corn, which is I, I think 80 calories of corn. Okay. And then... So 230. 230, yeah. plus my ground round. Mm -hmm. I'll add... A, that's extra lean. That's extra lean ground beef. I'll add about, I always have a scoop of it, so it's probably about 100 calories. No, not 100 grams, sorry. 100 grams or about three and a half ounces of cooked meat. That should be about, let's say, 250 calories. What does that equal out to? So, three, fifty, Okay, let's say four, let's round it up, 400. My snack is half a cup of yogurt and then a scoop of protein powder. Okay, so my yogurt is half a cup, which is, it says three quarters of a cup is 100 calories. So if it's half a cup, I would say 75 calories. Right? Three quarters of a cup is 100 calories. So but I'm. So if it was half, that would be more. So it would be about 150 calories. No, it would be less. I'm using less than the serving. Oh, okay, yes, you're right, sorry. RJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so let's just say 75 calories. Someone can do the math. I, I don't know the math right now, but I use half a cup. So it's about 100 calories plus my scoop of protein, which is 140. 
What does that equal out to? Uh, so, 225, I think. Sure, 225, that sounds good. Okay, so to my meat, I'm just adding taco seasoning. You can also add red chili pepper flakes if you like, but my son does not like spice, so I'm just going to omit that, but you can definitely add it afterwards. Put that, and we're almost done here. And also, I like to add garlic, and it's good for you too. Just eyeball that. No, there is no calories in garlic powder. It's zero for a quarter teaspoon. So use garlic powder liberally if you like. And as you can see in my meat, there's barely any oil here. I used extra lean ground beef. You don't need to drain it because there's not much oil. But if you're using regular ground beef, make sure that you do drain the fat if you are watching your calories. Some people I know, if they are really watching it, they would even wash their meat. For, in this case, I'm not doing that because there's barely any fat. And I actually like the flavor of the fat too. I think this is done now. Let's turn this off. Okay. And here we go. So for is Tara still online? Yeah. Okay, Tara, I'm going to measure my meat just to be safe so we know how much calories are. I'll add my plate. And I'm planning to add about a hundred grams of my cooked extra lean ground beef. I just like to add it on top, so that's 72, 95, that's 105 grams right there. And that's what I would typically eat. And then we'll add some corn, we'll add about a quarter cup of corn. I just like to, I like the sweetness of corn that it brings. And then two tablespoons of low-fat sour cream and also about a quarter cup of salsa. There you go. And there you have it guys. A day's worth of meal planning in about 30 minutes. You have breakfast, which is just two eggs, turkey sausage, frank sauce, pair it with a piece of fruit or a slice of bread, whichever you'd like. Lunch is some ground chicken, sweet potato, green beans, very tasty. For snack, I have my Greek yogurt with chocolate protein powder. And then for dinner was a quick taco salad with a coleslaw base, lean ground beef, salsa, and sour cream. If you like this video, <laughs> oh, if you like this video of my four meals that anyone can make in 30 minutes or less, please let me know. Share it, take me in a photo, and hopefully I will see you guys all very soon on the blue. Ciao. <laughs> oh, what? Ask everybody. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Everybody, we got 14 <laughs> days right now, absolutely free to our, uh, to our group, but we're only allowed to do it day. So if you can do us a favor, share our website, www.fitclub.fit. <laughs> all right. Have a great day, guys.